What's up guys, this is Meathead Mikkel from MeatheadGaming.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an Act 1 Cathedral 4 Torment 6 solo run skipping elites which is going to net you about 1.5 billion XP per hour and this is doing solo play. So there are certain things that you have to kind of set up for in order to make this happen. First of all um, let me show you guys my gear a little bit. I'm at 300k, 40 buff DPS, 830k toughness. This is a little bit low for Torment 6 for a ranged character, but you can get by as long as you're careful. Now, my gear is a combination of Legacy gear and Crafted gear from 2.0. The main thing I want to show you is this. You do need some lifesteal. Uh, it helps you tremendously. But beyond that, these are the pieces. This is a newer piece. Or no, it's not actually. Um, and you know, a lot of these pieces are older. But this is the gear I'm using. And when you combine some of the older pieces that you can still get off the auction house with the newer gear, you can actually do pretty well in Torment 6. Now, <clears throat> a couple things to keep in mind here. I am. I do have AP on crit, so I have 10 here, and I have 10 here, and as far as XP bonuses, I have the Ruby Gem here, I have my Hellfire, and I have a Hellfire on my follower, which adds like 7 to 8 percent, so not a whole lot, but every bit helps, and at Torment 6 with the 50 percent community event buff, that comes out to be 2,560 percent bonus XP. And this does not count the pools of reflection bonus. <clears throat> and higher paragon levels, somewhere around the 300s or so, you want to stack these because they're not. It's not a flat amount. It's based on how much XP you need. And because the higher level you go, the more XP you need, the more valuable the pool of reflection becomes. And I have another video on YouTube that I'm going to link in the description below where you guys can see how I stack pools of reflection uh, relatively quickly. You, know, you can definitely get several stacks <clears throat> within half an hour. And uh, two stacks are pretty much one level for me at this point. So that's, that's a lot of XP to get a 25% boost on, so it's definitely worth it. Now, as far as my build, these are the skills. I'm not going to go too much in depth about it because I have another video that shows why I use this build and why I like it. But in reality, any build can work. Uh, if you like lightning, you can do a lightning build, fire build, arcane, whatever. But the mandatory skill here is teleport wormhole. This is what you're going to be using to uh, get away from elites and basically skip them and not have them follow you. And one of the things that Blizzard did in 2.0 is they either removed or significantly reduced this sort of um, global cooldown that teleport had so even though it's one second before you can cast it again you can actually cast it you know, four times and you can cover a significant amount of distance so I started at this chest and I went all the way over here and those weren't full length teleports I could probably teleport from there you know if I did this correctly up to maybe like here or so. And if you run up to an elite, let's say the elite's right here, and I'm here, and you run up about this close, and then you pop all your teleports, you'll be far away from them, they won't follow you. But the only exception is if you have maybe fast elites, then you really gotta consider if the run is worth it, but that's very rare. And in those cases, you can just exit and start the run again, it doesn't cost you anything but you don't want to lose your pools of reflection stacks. So without further ado, we're starting at 27 million XP and I'm going to start my timer. And you're going to start at Royal Crypt. And we're going to see how long this takes. And I'll show you guys kind of how to you know, get away from the elites when you do run into them safely. And it's not that you can't kill them necessarily. I mean, I can solo elites. I have a video where I solo 
a Torment 6 Act 3. Just fine. And, you know, I had to counter a couple deaths, though. And that's the thing that you want to watch out for. You want to stack the pools. You don't, under any circumstance, want to die because then the time you spent, you spent stacking the pools of reflection is worthless. And, you know, killing elites just slows down your run. They have so many hit points, it just takes so long that it's, it's not worth it. Now, I chose Act 1 um, because the mobs in Act 1 are not very dangerous. And Cathedral 4 is very nice because it's always a square layout. You just have to... And it's not exactly the same all the time. You know, the different pieces of the level can spawn in different locations and you will backtrack. But it's always some sort of square. So... You're not going to backtrack too far if you do have to backtrack. And again, if you do, you have your teleport wormhole over an area that you've covered before and you know there's no monsters there, you just teleport back. Now, it can be tempting to you know, teleport preemptively, just like right now I want to get to the next pack, I'm going to teleport. Don't do that, because what you risk happening is running into an elite pack right as you're done with your teleport. And then your teleport's on cooldown, and you have to fight elites. And then, if they have CC and you can't get out of it, then you're screwed. There's an elite right there. So I'm going to get out of here. I saw that kind of a quarter of my eye. And I'm not going to deal with it. You know, even though there might be a little bit more XP there, I'll kind of see where that is in the square later on, but I don't want to risk anything. So, I'm not going to fight dudes. I don't have to. No more Nephilim Valor stacks, so there's no point if all you want to do is get XP. And you will find legendaries doing this. Um, it's not as good as a group T6 run in Act 3. You do want to keep deaths too, clears. I found a lot more legendaries per hour doing that. But, you know, you'll still find something. So I believe we need to go this way now. And you do want to play carefully because you want to maximize your DPS but still have a little bit of toughness to take a couple hits. Just not too many. But, you know, your reward for playing in a focused way is very good XP gains. That's, that's your reward. And when I open doors, I usually always cast an arcane orb just to slow things down if there is something, or if there's a lot on the other side of the wall. And the other thing, too, you kind of need to be aware of and realize is, you know, when you run into an elite pack, don't panic right there. Don't start teleporting the moment you see something. I did on that last elite pack because I knew I wasn't going to try to get past them. I just turned around. But in general, you want to, because if you teleport into them, you've already, and you're too far away, you're not going to be able to get far away from them and have them not follow you, if that makes sense. You want to get pretty close before you start teleporting. And by the way, guys, uh, if you look at the minimap, this is always a dead end. You know, this, this part right here, this is always the dead end. That's where you come in if you're actually doing the quest. So, no, not that it matters too much, but it is a dead end. And so you can kind of see where we're going already. We're kind of working our way around the square. And these runs are really good in group two. Um, that's what I've actually been doing as the group runs. And in an organized group, uh, if you kill elites, you're probably going to get approximately the same XP per hour because you're killing white mobs faster but you're spending longer killing elites but there is a bonus a group bonus to XP so and it actually comes out to be 3078 percent I have a video for that too I have a torment 6 uh, group farm run doing this exact same thing but actually killing the elites and you know it's going to be comparable XP 
um, in a group play, you're not really going to be skipping leads that much just because it's hard to coordinate people to actually do that. On a solo play, you're the only one who's doing it, so you can get it done pretty quickly. And you just stand back and you know, blast away. And the rest is history. These guys you got to be careful with. Make sure you stay away. Stay far, far out of their radius because actually what I noticed with these guys is their radius or their damage actually exceeds that radius by a little bit. I don't know where the exact hitbox is, but it's it's around there. And this run doesn't take very long. Uh, currently we're we're at the six minute mark in the run, so it's it's about a ten to twelve minute run at you know, my gear level. Very reasonable. And also don't be afraid to you know if you're if you run to an elite, for example, that's that has the fast addicts, and you teleport past them and they're still following you. You know, try to corner them, try to give them in some area where you can teleport away from them or just get far away from them and teleport out. And just start a new game. It's not worth it potentially losing, you know, half an hour to an hour of stacking 10 pools of reflection just for one new kill. Now, that's a whole other topic, too. You don't necessarily have to stack 10 pools. Um, <clears throat> it just kind of, you know, if you, if you get in the zone and you want to spend a half hour... Uh, Per half hour, I think on average you'll find about five pools. If you look at my other video, and when you're doing these runs, they don't spawn very often here, but on occasion, uh, you will get pools of reflection doing these runs as well. So it'll kind of keep the <clears throat> XP gravy train rolling. <clears throat> So the run itself is nothing fancy. You know, you just you just kill everything. Uh, as you can see, I am taking a pretty decent amount of damage even from the trash mobs. So you know, I have enough toughness to be able to handle a few hits, but I do have to be careful, and that's why you know I don't take any chances around the elites, and that's why you need teleport wormhole to be able to do this efficiently. <clears throat> so. Unless you, you know, want to kill the elites, but then you're not going to be getting the XP per hour, or if you don't really care about dying, but then you're not going to get a multiplicative 25% XP bonus, which is also going to reduce your XP per hour significantly. So there's multiple ways to do this run. This is just my preference. I want the maximum boost that I can get. And I don't care for killing elites. Uh, it's a challenge, but you know, here's so here's another one. Uh, so I'm actually going to get this guy out here, get these guys out here, so that I can get past all. Of them. Need more time. So that's the thing. You don't want to panic. You, know, you want to <clears throat> get close to them, kind of group them up a little bit. Well, nothing's gonna happen to you in the first two or three seconds, and then just stop. And that's actually bad. I shouldn't have done that. I should have cast some more before I went in there. So that's something you don't want to do. You want to be careful with that. And we're finishing out the square right now. So as you can see, guys, with that teleport wormhole, you know, once you kind of prep your elites for a couple seconds, get them bunched up give them one little area and then teleport out, they're not going to follow you. So you can skip the elites and you know, I would recommend you resist the urge to teleport unnecessarily. You know, even though I kind of want to just get to this other, this next area, I'm not going to because what if there's an elite there? So there you go, that's that's kind of the square layout, and there is a little bit more down here, but there was a leak here, so I'm not going to do it. So that's that's the run right there, and we're at 10 minutes and 15 seconds for the run. So 
you know, let's figure out how much XP this is. So we started at 27, and we're at 204, right? That's 177 mil over 10 and a quarter minutes. That gives us 17 and a quarter mil XP per minute times 60 minutes. It gives us 1 billion and 36 million XP per hour. Uh, you guys can check that math. I just did it on my calculator. So it's safe to say that this is, you know, a billion XP. Easy. And depending on density, uh, I've actually tested this before and I've gotten as high as one half billion per hour. It kind of depends on, you know, just if you luck out on where the packs are, what kind of density it is. I mean, sometimes I've gotten 10 to 20 mil XP just as soon as I come out of the world crits because, you know, outside of that entrance, there might be, you know, like 30 skeletons just waiting for you. And that run is going to have more XP. But this is, because of prior testing that I've done, this is somewhere between 1 billion to 1.5 billion consistently. And if you average it out, it's probably somewhere around one and a quarter billion XP per hour. And it, you know, it's still not as good as organized group play because of the group buff. But it's it's a relatively safe way to play. And if you can't handle tournament six elites, you know, all you have to do is still get past him just like that. So thanks for watching, guys. This is Meathead Mikel from MeatheadGaming.com. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys soon.